Hey, here's a quick video on how to add an ad set to an existing campaign. So, first of all, why would you want to do that? Um, you know, let's say you are having success or you're generating sales with an existing product uh, targeting one set of interests. A good uh, horizontal scaling method would be to then create another ad set within the same campaign, obviously going to the exact same product, and in fact going to the same ad, but basically just setting it to a different targeting group. So. Um, you know, now you want to basically you find out that you can sell a product in a niche. Now you want to show it to as many people as you can in that niche. So to do that, you'll create multiple ad sets within the same campaign and simply target different interests uh, per ad set. So here's how you do it in the Power Editor. Let's say we want to add something to uh, product A. So here's campaigns. Let's say these are the campaigns that you're running, and you want to uh, you have one ad set inside of product A. It's interest group A. And uh, inside interest group A, you have product uh, product ad A. Okay, here's the the campaign product A ad set name A, product A. So one to one to one, basically one campaign, one ad set, one ad. Now, when you want to add new ad sets, basically you're going to start off in the ad set level of Power Editor. So you're going to click into this block, and you're going to click create ad set. So here you're going to um, use an existing campaign. This is where you're going to want to enter in the name of the campaign that you want to add it to. So this is, again, we're not, we, we don't want to click create new because we want to add this ad set to an existing campaign. So we're simply going to find the name, you know, and you can see, you know, I would choose from whichever one. Like I said, I want to add this ad set to product A, which is uh, the name of the campaign. So now I'm going to create a new ad set. I'm just going to name it. And now I'm going to, I'm going to say, uh, you know, interest group number two. And uh, I don't need to create, or I will create a new ad, um, and I'm going to call it interest group two. But basically, what we're going to do is use the exact same post and the exact same uh, settings, except for different variables um, on the post page. So we're going to use the same dark post as before. So we'll create this. Now you'll see what what happened inside of inside of interest group uh, A. Let's see. So we have product group A. Let me just take out all these filters. Okay, so here's the campaign, product group A. Inside here, we have the original. Um, so look, we have the original interest group A inside of product A. Now we have this newly created interest group number two, which we just created inside, still inside of product A. So we started with this one. Now we added another ad set inside the same campaign. So here, the first thing we're going to do is click the pencil to edit. We're going to enter in, you know, our conversion pixel. Uh, we're going to enter in our budget. You know, we're going to start with five dollars. This is a new ad set. We're going to set a date, uh, and and then I'm going to go with the newsfeed uh, options again here. And now I'm going to set my targeting. So if if you had, let's say, interest group A went to your, uh, you know, let's say a, a group of uh, celebrities in your niche, then maybe interest group two is going to go to uh, you know a set of blogs in the niche. So, you this is where you're going to do the uh, this is going to be the main difference between these ads. This one's going to have your different targeting in here. So you'll put in your interests for this interest group. You'll save it out. And you're you're good on the ad set level now. So now interest group number two, the ad set is set up. But now you need to associate an ad with it. So now I'm going to go down to the ad section, and here's the one that you just created, interest group number two. Now, this is the original one, product A. We're still going to be advertising to product A here, but again, we're just using a different set of interest groups. So we want this ad to be exactly the same as this ad. So what we would do is go in here, click the pencil again to go into the edit. We're going to choose the page associated with the first ad, and we're going to go to use existing post. So by over here, we normally would press the plus button. Now we're actually going to go down here and just find the actual post that we did before. So this is exactly what we already had over here. I'm just putting it back over here. Um, you're going to select your conversion uh, tracking pixel again here if it's not already selected. Um, and then uh, that's it. You can put your Google variables down here, your UTM tags right inside here, and you would uh, basically differentiate. The only difference between this one and this one, you would have a different, uh, a different campaign name in terms of the UTM tags. So that's for Google Analytics. Uh, you know, just 
you don't have to worry about that at this point. You know, this is the big part of what we want to accomplish in terms of inserting this new ad set. So we, you know, we started with three campaigns. We're finishing with three campaigns. The difference is inside of product A, we now have two interest groups. We had this one that we started with and then this one that we duplicated into. And then clicking down into here, we have two ads, the original one and the, the new one, which is going to be using the same post. So another benefit of this, actually, let's say you generate, you know, 100 likes, 100 comments, 100 shares on this. If you use the same post, your new ad is going to start with that because it's, it's simply just promoting the same post. So this is why you're going to always want to use the same post rather than um, change it up into a, uh, a different post or its, its own dark post. We don't want to do that. We want to use the same dark post over and over. So uh, this is how you insert a ad set into a campaign. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, definitely hit me up and make sure to join the, uh, the group. Thanks. Bye.